Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mr. Matsuzaka, uh, Director General of Energy Transport Business Unit. In the almost 50 years since we started Air Energy Marine Transportation, we have owned and operated the world's largest fleet of air energy carriers and have made a significant contribution to the development of the air energy value chain and the stable growth of the global economy. Drawing on the wealth of experience and knowledge we have accumulated over this time. By being continually responsive to the needs of our customers, we have pioneered new technologies and made major advances in the development of the air energy industry. One such example is the Yamal Air Energy Project, where we realize the world's most advanced maritime transportation system using the Arctic Ocean route. We do not confine ourselves simply to the transportation of air energy, but boldly take on the challenge of finding new fields for the use of air energy. In recent years, we can frequently find our press release using uh, phrases such as world first and uh, only one in Asia or the only one in the world. For example, MOL is the world first operator of um, FSRU in Asia. And MOL has built the world largest air energy fuel supply ship. We support the creation of uh, infrastructure for air energy fuel through the Ishin, with the air energy fuel tugboat delivered, air energy fuel supply ship for total and uh, pavilion gas, and helping to reduce environmental concerns in the air energy value chain. Today, uh, we are making proposals about how we can contribute to the decarbonization of the air energy value chain. In response to the global tightening of environmental regulations, air energy has the potential to reduce CO2 emissions when compared to coal and oil, and can act as a useful transition fuel during the change to renewable energy generation. Here are some specific ways to utilize air energy in this way. We have made efforts to promote the use of air energy in developing countries which have previously never had access to air energy. This is done through rising awareness of the air energy to power ship business where power can be generated through a power ship. Uh, FSRU and FSU operating as an uh, entity under the brand name Carmo. MOL, Asia's largest FSRU operator, and Turkey's Car Power International, the world's largest power generation vessel operator, announced in March 2019 that they have agreed to collaborate in the air energy to power ship business to become the world's most reliable air energy to power ship solution provider and the provider of choice under the brand name Carmo. Carmo's air energy to power ship business will generate power through a power ship receiving regasified air energy through a floating air energy storage and the regasification unit providing reliable electricity to shore grids and uh, facilities where base load electricity and uh, replacement of fuel mode are required to meet environmental concerns. The advantages of this Carmel collaboration include very competitive initial capex construction costs and fast track solution to provide air energy to power 
creating immediately saving for customers and the ability to quickly meet the power demand. And the replacement of higher emission fuels by LNG, significantly reducing greenhouse gas emissions. In August 2019, the first Carmel's LNG to power ship business project to be carried out in Mozambique was announced with the two companies to jointly own and operate a FSRU and a power ship. The electricity generated will be provided to Electricity Aid de Mozambique or EDM, the Mozambican National Power Utility, through an electricity connection and a transmission facility. The power ship is currently operating with heavy fuel oil in Nakara, but in accordance with a prior arrangement with EDM, it will be switched to LNG operation after delivery of the FSRU. We are also currently considering the commercialization of a second Carmo LNG to power ship business project in Senegal. Car Power Ship now operates a 235,000 kilowatt power ship using heavy fuel oil in Senegal and plans to switch to LNG as a power ship fuel in the future. Carmel's LNG to power ship solution can provide a reliable supply of electricity to people in developing countries where the demand for affordable and stable power is increasing in line with their rapid economic growth. It also acts as an important facility for the use of locally produced LNG. MOL and Carl Power Ship will continue to combine their respective expertise and experience through Carmo and will continue to propose LNG to power ship business solutions as a powerful answer to environmental concerns and cost competitive solutions for people worldwide. Through the LNG to power ship business, operating under the brand name Carmo, MOL will promote a shift to cleaner gas power generation for a low carbon society and encourage the use of LNG as a transition fuel during the change to renewable energy power generation in the future. Looking ahead, the future, in addition to shift to LNG, we are also working on other decarbonization efforts. Hydrogen and ammonia are among the fuels that we do not emit CO2 when burned and therefore the use of battery power and wind power are also considered candidates for the drive towards decarbonization. MOL is currently spearheading the Wind Challenger project, which aims to launch a new building vessels equipped with a hard sail by the end of 2022. We will continue to work towards the decarbonization of the value chain. Thank you for joining our MOL webpage.